and an injured officer bitten while trying to take a man into custody inside the Metro Justice Building. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at Jackson Memorial Hospital where that officer was taken. Peter. Well, first off, Ruta Bay and Rick were told that the condition of that Miami-Dade police officer has stabilized. A witness told us he heard it was a sudden attack by a large man, and there was a quick and immediate response by the officers there who took him into custody. A suspect grunts as he is taken from the Metro Justice Building. Miami-Dade police say he was in court for a hearing and about to be taken into custody based on a warrant when he bit this officer. You can see the bandage on his left arm as Miami Fire Rescue attends to him. He was screaming when I, when I was out here, like I heard him in there just screaming crazy. Jonathan Perdomo was by courtroom 27 when he saw the commotion that led to this man being arrested and this officer being injured. I was standing here in the hallway and I heard commotion and I heard officers call when I came over here to look. Um, there was a man that had bit an officer and he took out a chunk of meat off his right or left hand and he was bleeding. And then they called in, they grabbed the dude and they tied him down and they put a bag over his face and they escorted him out of the courtroom. Perdomo says it took a half dozen officers to subdue this man. To hold down the man, it took at least like six, seven cops. And then they put handcuffs on him and they, they took out all the officers that got injured and then they took him up. Police say the Miami-Dade officer was transported to Jackson Memorial Hospital for treatment. He was mad, bro. I can tell you that one. He didn't look like he was in pain. I know he was in pain, but he was mad. Now, Miami-Dade police have not identified the suspect or the officer. They may identify the officer after contacting his family members. Meanwhile, this suspect could face a series of charges, including battery and a law enforcement officer. We'll be back at 6 in just one hour with an update. We're live at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.